play Tom Brady. This is going to be amazing. Fair catch call for Maid. Off the foot of Michael Dixon. Bird hauls it in at his own 31. It's a 50 yard punt. All right, what's up, Cam Sleeve, right now? 17 game winning drives in his career with the Panthers. He's been rolling. He's been throwing it fantastic since the interception, which I think was as much sort of a mental mistake throwing that quick out to the wide side of the field. But now you need to generate pass rush, but are you willing to bring Jamal Adams out of the secondary as banged up as it is in coverage? Right now, Adams is eight yards back of the line of scrimmage and retreating. And Newton is firing in that direction, and the pass is caught by Harry to the left. Newton, time, fires over the middle, caught at the 50-yard line by Nikhil Harry. We come on a second down and 10 to 48. Four-man rush. Newton stepping up. Takes a backhand flip and runs for a first down. To the 36-yard line, and now the Patriots take a timeout. Field goal, of course, does them no good. Got to get into the end zone. The ball is at the 36. Uh, it's almost automatic when you try and play deep coverage with those safeties coming back, whether they come up in a lurk position or not. It just doesn't seem to matter because you've got a lot of guys playing at depth. And right now we have the Seattle Seahawks desperately trying to find a pass rusher, Jordan Brooks. The rookie in the game now. He is some athlete. He sets up in the right slot. Newton. Deep and incomplete. Edelman looks for a flag, and there is a flag. He does get one. Cam way overthrowing him, which means that Edelman, somebody was impeding him. And Pete's going to say, of course, it's uncatchable, but maybe it was uncatchable because of the interference. Here's Rolstead. Four man rush. Newton, a ton of time again. Fires. It's going to be caught at the 13 yard line by Edelman. But a huge tackle there to get him down inbound, so it forces them to the line of scrimmage. Do you use that timeout? They do not. Let the clock run down, and they're not going to even spike it here. Just going for it on a first down and 10. And Newton's going to fire, and that's incomplete. Intended for Edelman. Having another fantastic night. Career high in receiving yards, 8 for 179. We've got nine seconds, second down. We've almost seen Ken Norton alternating between blitzing and playing coverage. The blue with this one. Again, four-man rush. Play it is thrown. It's caught at the one-yard line. Timeout. <laughs> Two seconds. Harry makes the grab. And it comes down to one play. These two teams, I'm telling you, they should, they, they should match them up every year. That's, of course, the Malcolm Butler interception. Two thousand sixteen Sunday night, Foxborough. Nine seconds. Ronkowski could not haul it in. They're doing it again. What a game. They put one more second back on the clock. Comes back and wins this game. People in New England are gonna believe. They probably believe anyway yeah. he played so well. Three hundred and ninety-seven yards. This is it. Now the fullback's going to shift to be the lead blocker. Here we go. Dan is going to take it himself, and he doesn't get in. And the Seahawks are going to win the game. Line up with a power formation, and you got L.J. Collier and Leno Hill are the two guys who are there. Leno Hill comes in the game as a substitute, is going to submarine here, take out the fullback, 
and take out Cam at the same time. No question about it, LJ Collier in on the mix as well. But they went to their strength, New England did, and they still could not make it happen. What a game.